Okay, my friends, today a quickie. Do your genes or environment predict your weight? The science is complex. Well, it's not all that complex. What predicts your weight is the ability for you to digest food efficiently. Efficiently. That means that when you eat, you get the best you can out of a small amount of food. And then you don't stuff yourself and you don't get obese. It says... As people get older, we also notice differences in their weight that couldn't be explained by genetics or social background. This meant that neither of those factors is a good predictor of any particular person's body weight. They did notice that identical twins had similar patterns of weight when they were younger, and as they got older, they changed. And what changes is your bacteria in your body gets assaulted. And if it's assaulted, you're not digesting your food properly, and then you just gain weight. That's what obesity is. Obesity is a search for nutrition. And if you can't find it with a limited amount of food, you just keep eating. Socially disadvantaged people are nutrition poor. That's what happens. And they say these are things they, can't, they don't understand really because they don't understand that the, the breakdown of the food is, is, is exactly what causes obesity. If you can't break down your food correctly to absorb what you need and you don't have, don't have the proper input, your body will search for something. It'll say, keep eating until you, uh, I'm happy. And it's never going to get happy. You're just going to keep eating. Some people get enormously obese because they just don't have the correct bacteria to break down the foods or they're not eating the right foods. And they're, they're just nutrition poor, basically, is what it is. So it says, our research suggests that neither genes nor social backgrounds determine your destiny as far as weight goes. This could help to empower us when we try to maintain a healthy body weight, especially those who may have struggled in the past. When I was a kid, I was so fat I could fall over and gain altitude. <laughs> and, you know, and, and I don't know why, but, I, I mean, I did eat a lot of candy and stuff, but, uh, you know, I think it was more than that. There was, I had a bunch of things going on in my life as a child that were a little different, um, and they've resolved themselves, and, and I wasn't heavy for the rest of my life once I got, you know, settled. I'm just going to leave it at this. Very, very simple. You can't control your genes. And a lot of people have no ability to really control their social environment. They're stuck in their, their realm. The only thing you can control, if you have enough money, is to get probiotics and get yourself in a regular regime of being able to absorb the food correctly. And then the, the weight will drop off. It's just a matter of you... you and, and, of course, you have to be a little bit careful of what you eat, obviously. But... You you won't be craving additional input because you your your body's pretty well satisfied. I've noticed this myself after being very heavily involved in probiotics for a number of years, and I have tons of people that have reported people, the exact same story, exactly the same story, and their emotional problems have cleared up. Uh, all kinds of issues have resolved themselves once you get the proper diet and the proper nutrition. Your body will force you to consume until it's satisfied. And if you don't satisfy it, you're just going to keep consuming.